A Cedar Rapids family reaches a huge milestone today. They are moving into the house they helped build with the support of Habitat for Humanity. It's located in a neighborhood bouncing back from the floods of 08. CBS 2's Brian Scott is live in Cedar Rapids tonight to show us the finished home. Brian. Well, welcome to the newest house here in the Northwest Ellis neighborhood here in Cedar Rapids. This one belongs to Carol Scheid here of Cedar Rapids. She's going to be moving in here just at the end of this month. She's almost closed on the house. But as you said, yes, this is yet another Habitat for Humanity house in this neighborhood. Helped out big time by Whirlpool of Mana. They actually had several workers working nonstop on this home for nine days in September to get this thing ready for Carol. And this is kind of a special case. Let's walk around back here. Now, Carol Scheid, we can tell you a little bit about her. She actually has MS, so it was very important when they built this house, they keep that in mind and really make this catered just for her. So around back, they added something really special back here. Check this out. They added this full-size ramp by Raps here in Cedar Rapids to make it nice and easy for her, make her be able to get up into her house be able to uh, do what she needs to inside also with hardwood floors and accessible shower, all that sort of stuff. She said as she got in here for the first time, it was literally took her breath away. She said absolutely amazing and she can't say enough good about this organization. It's, it's beyond words. I'm just amazed at the program that it was possible that not on, once I found out I could qualify for the program, they accepted me for the program. It, it was so fast. And Carol, definitely a very neat lady herself. Uh, obviously, Whirlpool weren't the only ones helping out out here, though. A lot of volunteers help out in these habitat projects and a lot of other groups who came out and showed their support in their own particular ways. Coming up tonight at 9 and 10, we're going to talk more about that and talk more about Carol's journey to get to her very first home. She's a first time homeowner out here too in Cedar Rapids. For now we're live in Cedar Rapids. Brian Scott, CBS 2 News.